Meanwhile, we have more from the Agriculture Minister tonight on that temporary ban on sweet peppers and table tomatoes, or as local farmers rather, are producing them in high numbers. While the ban was a concern for some vendors, the minister says it's all in an effort to build the agriculture sector and achieve the goal of self-sufficiency in food production. Italia Hall reports. The Minister of Agriculture, the Honorable Renwood Wells, says the restriction came about because the market itself is currently oversaturated with table tomatoes and sweet peppers. We have enough table tomatoes and green peppers right now in the country in boxes to supply the local demand on a daily basis. And we're going to have that with the harvesting in the next few months up until June. All of the table tomatoes, all of the bell peppers necessary to supply the local market. We know that because we know what's in the field, what the farmers currently have. He says the step was made to ensure that the Bahamian agricultural industry grows and the wholesalers welcome it. The green peppers, green sweet peppers and table tomatoes that is being offered is actually being offered at a cheaper price in the Bahamas from Bahamian farmers than what is being offered in the United States. In the United States, you have to buy a crate of tomatoes right now for $40. The Bahamian market is offering it anywhere from $27 to $35 for that same crate. Minister Wells says it is also important for fruit and vegetable vendors to remember that businesses survive on a number of key elements. Your customer service, where you're located, okay? and the price to which you sell to the customer. And as for the quality of the vegetables grown in the country, he says it is as good or better than those that are imported. I just had a meeting with the wholesalers, and one of the things that they told me is that they are now, when they purchase local, they're not even telling the Bahamian people it's local. And the Bahamian people come in, and by and large, they are more impressed with the locally grown tomatoes, and sweet peppers, and cabbages, and onions, than they are from what is grown abroad. Now the minister says going forward he would like to see more Bahamian farmers producing these vegetables year-round for the country. Reporting for ZNS Network News, I'm Italia Hall.